guys, welcome to another episode of the Bulldog Park. Boys and girls of every age, would you like to see Never. Get in your coaching. Alright, uh, my scariest experience would be one time when I was in like middle school. I was hanging out with my friends and uh, one of them mooned their neighbor and his mom came up and she called the cops so we had to run away from them. And I was like 12 so I was scared out of my mind. My scariest experience will probably be almost getting hit by a flower. I woke up one night and my cat was eating my goldfish and I had some family over, and since I live downstairs in the only room downstairs, I'm right by the front door. And it turns out somebody was trying to break into our house, so I could have died. This would be when Becca Blackwell's dad dressed up in a clown outfit and like traced us around her house. My friends locked me in the trunk of their car. Being next to a um, cruise ship while I was coming by on a dead jet ski. Thanks for all the great answers, guys. Now on to upcoming sports. For upcoming sports this week, we have volleyball playoffs starting October 22nd. For boys soccer, we play October 24th against East Duplin at East Duplin. JV starts at 4.30, varsity at 6.30. Same follows for October 26th at Southwest. For football this week, we have a game October 28th, home against Southwest. That is also our senior night. Thanks for the information. Now on to our Athlete of the Week. How does it feel to be conference champs? It feels really good. I feel like we deserved it a lot and we worked really hard for it. How do you think your team's going to do during playoffs? I think we're going to do really well because we work really well together and we have a really good chemistry. Over the past four years, how do you think you've improved? I think we've gotten harder, better, faster, stronger. UNC Chapel Hill is one of the public Ivy League schools. It consistently ranks in the top five among public universities, and its total costs are generally lower than the other top-ranked schools. Chapel Hill schools of medicine, law, and business all have excellent reputations. Research strengths have earned the university membership in the AAU, and strong liberal arts and sciences earned it a chapter of Phi Beta Kappa. The university's beautiful and historic campus was opened in 1795. UNC Chapel Hill also boasts excellent athletics. The Tar Heels complete, compete in the NCAA Division I Atlantic Coastal Conference. Total enrollment is 29,135 students, 18,350 undergraduate students. The total cost in state is $25,650. Out of state is $50,732. The acceptance rate for UNC Chapel Hill is 28%. The ACT composite score is 28 out of 32, ACT English is 28 out of 34, and ACT Math is 27 out of 32. The SAT reading is 600 out of 700. And the SAT math is 600, 620 out of 720. The average weighted GPA is a 4.63. And now on to the DHS pageant recap. If you missed it, last weekend we held our DHS pageant to help raise money for graduation project. We had a total of 10 contestants, 8 which were girls and 2 boys. For the boys, Devon Antoine was the first runner up and Dan Caccino was the winner. They both did a lip sync battle together. For the girls, the second runner up was Bethany Leanis, who wrote her own song and sang to the judges for her talent. The first runner up was Amber Taylor, who also sang for her talent. And the winner was Josie Thompson, who did a tap dancing routine for her talent. Good job to everybody who was in the pageant. You all did great. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Bulldog Bark. Can't wait to see you next week.